Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I arrived home after 10 days of traveling to work, you know, to M21 meetup and back. While on my way up there, I was able to visit five capitals and uh, before I get to M21 meetup and then another five when I head back. So as you can see on the right, I had locked in total 5,466 mile on this vehicle which is my 2012 Scion XD which I convert with a no bill conversion into a Marco camper so let's do a quick scan around the inside vehicle what it actually looked like in real living condition I would like to call this uh, an organized mess all right so right here, this area is what I call a storage area, which is the front passenger seat. This is a catch-all area here, because you will see in a minute. I brought this because uh, of the M21 pot lock. I didn't know how much fuel I need, so I brought a bunch of uh, butane can and uh, propane. So it's not really necessary to have this many. And also I have, bring a lot of stuff that I need when I'm driving. So it's easy to access right here. And below this is uh, my, um, I brought two plastic tub of uh, canned food and dry food. And on top of that is an electronic uh, container. Here you can see back here, it looked like a hot mess back here too. Watch. Everything looked like I would like to call this organized mess because I know exactly where everything is. When I stop for the night, I will show you where everything goes. See these things? Reflected. I can put them up from here, from this seat, that window, that window, this window, and that window. So that's why the reflect sitting there. Of course, over here is my stove. This is unnecessary. This can be deleted. That is my cooking uh, kitchen in one co one container. So whenever I'm stopped somewhere and if it's raining, I can always move these things to the front. That's why I call this catch-all area. Before I migrate myself from here to back there, from inside. Oh, back here, down here is my uh, footwear storage. I only bring a flip-flop and a pair of shoes, and this is where they stay. Okay, let's go outside and take a look what they exactly look outside, all right? So this is the outside from the driver's side. It'd be helpful if I lock it, right? I brought along the chair, which I usually store right here. This lawn chair this is a jumping uh, cable. That's my bed platform. Back here is the fridge, and the bed is tucked away there. See what happened when I say it's a hot mess? When you open it up, it fell all out. So I bought an extra butane stove. So these are my uh, pantry. There's more hidden storage, trash can, other stuff that I haven't used yet, my sticker. So as you can see, there's a lot of knickknack stuff in here, which I will reduce it down to nothing. I only need one instead of two of this. Of course, my electronic box is always necessary to have, so I can string it out to two, which will be in this area later on when I will show you. All right, let's look at the uh, this side over here. See, this is a hot mess. So I brought this bottle, which is not very functional, so that will be deleted. What really works is this. So in the future, I will incorporate this. There's all kind of mess. So this is my area. 
So let me show you how I uh, set it up from the inside, all right? So my neighbor is looking at me really. So I'm just gonna set up the front shell here from this seat. I can put that there. I put that there. Another one there. So that one I'm not gonna put in yet because he's gonna look at me weird. So you know I can put it in from my side. So as you can see, this will be storage area. You can put all kind of stuff here. Like my battery back here. Let me turn on the light. See this battery can move toward the front. Somewhere in here at night. Same go with that barrier over there. Everything can be set up from inside. So this one will go over here. That's my kitchen. This custard can go there. See, that's why I say this area is a catch-all area. So let me hold on. I can't do it with one hand. I will bring you back once I stack it. See, normally I wouldn't stack the stove here because the stove will be behind that seat there. But see, this is where I stack everything. I'm just gonna demonstrate to you. So everything stored here at nighttime. So right now my seat is still wide open. I can access this area here. This is my changing area, whatever. So let's go set up the bed from uh, Let's assume I'm going to climb over there. I'm not going to do it right now because my neighbor is going to look at me funny. So I'm going to go over on the other side. So once I climb from there to here, sitting over here, I can always fold the seat forward and push it forward. That's why I say I can do it from the inside without ever going outside. See, right now I'm leaving that window open because my neighbor will look funny if I put one up. So I got all my screen, I can turn on the light at night, nobody would notice what I'm doing inside a vehicle while I'm setting up my bed. Alright, let me uh, show you, I can't do it with uh, one hand, so let's, let me push the seat from in here. Alright, I'm going to put you down, let's see if you can see what I'm doing. Stay right there, don't move. Once it's moved forward, just push this over, hang it. And roll out the back. Oh, I just throw you along with the bed. So once you roll out the bed, remember this have a valve. It's self inflated, so you let it sit for a while. Then just close the valve and you're ready for bed tonight, for the night. I think you can hear it. See, once I open it, it's sucking air in right now. So I have all my pillow, my blanket here, and also my cold gear here. That way at nighttime, that's why I call it organized mess. So at nighttime when it gets colder, it's colder, I will pull it from here and wear it. Hair, my blankie. That's it. That's how my bed is set up, and this is how I sleep at night with the fridge. All right. Let's examine my uh, bed system closely. So it's compo composed of three different components: the sleeping bag, the self-inflated uh, air mattress, which you can control with that valve there open and close to open is to let the air in and close to trap it in so the bed the and also uh, the camping uh, under this is a camping uh, foam which is not very thick so I found out on my 10 day trip is uh, sometime I might hit the bottom because the foam back there is not thick enough but you know it was it didn't give me no uh, soreness when I wake up in the morning so the system actually works. I just need a little bit more foam under it. I will show you uh, 
what I come up next at the end of this uh, video, this clip right here. So I designed this because I wanted to create a bad system that it is easy to move to another vehicle. The goal is uh, if I had to fly somewhere and if I rent uh, one of those SUV or a hatchback and I bring along these three pieces, I have my bed built in in the back when I, have a feet, I fold a seat down. So all of these can be folded down or compressed down to very small package so that way it will fit in the suitcase and then I will fly with it. And when I get to my destination, get a rental car and set it up inside a vehicle and I got myself, uh, you know, somewhere to sleep for the night so I don't have to waste money on the hotel. So you can either roll or just fold flat. In this guy, it's probably better just to fold this flat. Here you can see that uh, after I've done this, so that's the second piece. After this, I will show you how, uh, how this uh, self-inflated mattress is uh, compressed down to very small package. So I bought this on Amazon. I will put the link down in the subscription. See how I uh, move that valve open so that way the air will come out as I compress it. I will put all the link to all these products in the Amazon if I can find them in my uh, description box. So I first roll it like this just to get the majority of the air out, more, like, more than 50% of it out by doing this. That way it's easier when you fold this piece into half and then fold it to some uh, smaller footprint. See, once you press as much as you can, lock the valve, and then unroll it. See, now you can, it doesn't look like it, but it, it is much flatter than before. Hold it, fold it in half, and then we're gonna roll and roll and roll. See, right now the valve's open, it doesn't matter. You can keep on rolling until it, you have you feel a little bit of resistance. Then you kind of reach over and let let the valve open, and the air will escape out. For now, just go ahead and roll and roll and roll, and keep pressing pressure, putting pressure on the the roll. That way, you know the air doesn't go back in. So the air will actually push way down to the other end. See, right now I'm going to let the valve out. Let some of the air out. And at this point, I just leave it like that because now it's easy just to keep rolling because I have a little bit more grip at the end there. And keep compression, roll and compress as you go. That way you will get 90% of the air out. You're not going to get everything out, but 90% is better than 100%. Still have 100% of air in there. See, now I'm trying to press, press, press really hard, put my weight on it, and then close the valve. And that should make it in small enough that will fit with the bag that came with it. So this, with these three pieces, it will fit in a big suitcase to fly somewhere. See, right there, you can see. See the the... The sleeping bag, I can actually get a much smaller, thinner sleeping bag I want to, but I use what I already have, so. Okay, coming next is uh, what I'm about to change. See how the one on the right is small compared to the one I'm about to upgrade to? This is the, and this is the top view. See how thick it is on the new one? Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I will be, uh, probably have a few more video coming up for perhaps my new vehicle for my new minivan mini camp camper so if you like to follow me please go ahead and click on subscribe and uh, click on that uh, notification for and i will catch you on the next video bye now